What do you think this little girl will be going through right now? Oh, gosh, well, she'll be really confused. I mean, you know, she's she's so young that conceivably her only memory of parents may be this, this couple that's, that's been taking care of her. Um, we also don't have much information about what was going on. So today, you know, have pictures emerging of, of some kind of, you know, what seems like, you know, a good caretaking skills. So, you know, she has a nice room and her toys. So, you know, you you know, we, we don't know what's happened. I mean, and even if she was, I mean, if there was abuse, as you know, it has been alleged to some extent, still children that, that are abused still form, you know, close relationships even to their abusers at times because they feel, well, you know, you're my only caretaker. You add on to that that she probably uh, doesn't have people around her that speak her language. Apparently, from what I've heard, she only speaks a kind of certain dialect of, of Roma. So, Fiji you know, Roma, yeah. yeah. So, you know, surely she'll be feeling scared. She'll be, you know, wondering what's happened. She'll be worried about her future. And I suppose, she, as you said, as far as she's concerned, she, the, the two people who've been charged with her abduction now her parents as far as she knows in her little world. Indeed, indeed. And, you know, and she'll probably be wondering, this is one of the things when you always work with kids, you know, and, and something bad happens to them. It's never about what's the person. It's, it's about what have I done? Have I done something wrong? Why have I been taken away? You know, so even if it was a big relief, if, you know, if there was, you know, a sense of, you know, I'm taken away from something bad, but there's no sense of, well, where am I now? Mm. And who do I know? And who's around me?